Hey guys and welcome to the next director video tutorial. In the first videos we talked a lot about how to run a show. So now we will discuss the concepts of everything that happens in the background before and during showtime. This includes the topology, the channels, pipes and the VMS and how to set them up to work for your use case of the Ventus director. Firstly let us talk about the topology and its concepts in the Ventus director. The topology is a description of the relations between the Ventus project, the controlling machine and the playout machines. So you can define which machines should render which content of the project. To change the topology of the show, use the drop down menu here on the start screen to select an existing topology or open the topology editor and edit or create topologies. Basically a topology consists of three kinds of elements. Firstly there are channels. Using multiple channels in a director show enables you to queue and take several items at the same time completely independent from each other. So you can control multiple layers of a show independently from each other or even multiple machines that should show different content. The channel slots simply represent the channels of a show in the topology. The slot is then connected to a machine or a machine cluster. Every machine cluster is one or two pipes and at least one port with an ID. The ports represent locations in the Ventus project. So when you have multiple layers of graphics in the project, each port will represent one of them. This way you can define which channel plays out in which layer. The pipes of your local machine can be connected to a view to be shown on screen in the director user interface. To show a preview and the program on screen of your local machine, you need to define two pipes. One is representing the preview and the other one the program. When creating a single machine cluster, you can choose to have one or two pipes. To be able to display those, either use no audio video configuration on the machine or use a configuration with two shared surfaces as an output. This way Ventus Runtime is able to render both pipes into the preview and program windows of the director. Lastly, let us take a look at the Ventus Machine Service. The Ventus Machine Service is a program that has run in the background since you installed Ventus on your machine. The VMS has full control over the Ventus processes on your machine and is therefore able, for example, to start or stop presentations, search for all presentations on the machine and to change the configuration of your machine. Furthermore, it is able to receive commands over network. Only through the VMS you are able to remotely change the configurations of a machine or start a presentation on there. In fact, Direct is only able to talk to runtime over the Ventus machine service, since it can receive commands like which template to take and which values to use for that template. It can then tell the runtime it is connected to what to do. You can see the status of your VMS in its tray bar icon. A red icon means that there is no runtime running and therefore it cannot connect to one. Yellow shows that it has connected to a runtime but there is no project loaded and a green icon means that everything is working fine. When opening the context menu of the VMS, you can configure where the VMS should search for projects. Only projects located in defined folders will be listed in the Ventus configuration or will be found when trying to start a presentation. So when the director lists an error because it cannot find a project on a remote machine, there is a possibility that the VMS did not search for it in the right folders. After you change the configuration, you should manually start a scan in the context menu. So this was the rather technical overview of the concepts that enabled the Ventus director to remote control other machines. Since this was a very rough look at the theoretical concepts behind that, we will need to get a little bit more practical in the next videos. So next time we will talk about how to exactly set up the machines and the topology to be able to remotely control production machines. So stay tuned and see you then, bye!